Hello my friends, welcome back to Don't Stop. Gabriel here and we're just going to go through the recent updates on Kingdoms. Now this one is still in green light on Steam. Uh, you can pick it up for about five dollars. Uh, the game is in really, really early alpha, but they've done a couple updates since release and uh, they're pretty interesting. Uh, not a whole lot of content yet, but it's still going to be a little bit of fun, um, especially if you just like to enjoy a peaceful environment, maybe fighting some bears, and uh, building yourself a nice little garden. On a quick side note, they actually did make some changes to the combat system as well with these other updates. The combat system, now you can just swing freely, and it's wherever your sword lies or wherever your weapon lies is where the damage is done. When I'm going and fighting bears, I pretty much swing and then just jiggle my mouse back and forth until it hits it about six or seven times. Usually ends up killing the bear pretty quick within a couple swings. I think the combat is a lot better than it was and still has room for improvement, but that's an afterthought. There's a lot of other major systems that they need to get in place before this game is really, really fun. Now on the first update, they introduced farming. With farming, you're able to build a garden, build a windmill, and also build a little farmhouse. A player is required to have worker and digger in order to build a garden, and then a player is also required to have worker, benchman, and taskmaster in order to build a windmill. I haven't quite figured out what the windmill is used for, but the garden is fairly easy. Throughout the world, there's a bunch of random seeds that you can go pick up. You just grab the little plants as you're running through the forest, and then as you build a garden, you can have multiple of them. You plant those seeds in there, and over time, and it can take quite a while, uh, these plants will grow into full-on vegetables for you to eat. This allows you to not have to go in search of food so much in order to replenish your hunger and keep your health up. The other update that they did is they added in interiors to all of the homes that are currently in the game. Even the farmhouse for farming has interior in it. They changed some of the designs on some of the bigger buildings and now when you walk in you just push the door open with your character. You don't have to push any buttons or anything. You just walk straight into it and you'll be able to see what type of interiors they've added. And they're pretty detailed. It looks really nice. This is pretty exciting because if they continue with this level of detail and commit to all the plans that they've intended for this game, it's going to be one heck of a game. It'll be pretty awesome. Right now, I wouldn't say that there's a whole lot to do. It took me about two hours to get all of this done, but it's still fun. Uh, I enjoyed my little time here. Uh, but that's it. Those are the two recent updates, and I will keep you guys posted on anything new that comes out for Kingdoms. If you liked it, go and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Keep doing what you love, and remember, as always, don't stop. Gabriel, signing out.